One of the most amazing things about the human brain is the brain's ability to store and retrieve information. As humans, we have two different systems of information storage, which are generally referred to as declarative memory and non-declarative memory. The discovery of declarative memory and non-declarative memory stem from the treatment of a patient named Henry Gustav Molaison, who suffered from epilepsy. In an attempt to cure him of his epilepsy, a bilateral medial temporal lobotomy was performed on his brain. Most of his brain was damaged, consequently making him to suffer from amnesia. Declarative memory is also known as explicit memory because it focuses on knowing that something is the case. For example, we know that Abuja is the capital of Nigeria. We know that lions are animals. We know that the planets orbit around the sun. So explicit memory is declarative because it has to do with semantics which means the understanding of words and our world and also is also episodic non-declarative memory also known as implicit memory involves skills and associations that are acquired and retrieved at an unconscious level. For example, implicit memory, which is also called non-declarative memory, focuses on knowing how to do things. For example, knowing how to play a musical instrument, knowing how to cook food, knowing how to tie your shoelaces, and so on are examples of implicit or non-declarative memory. Declarative memory, also known as explicit memory, is governed by the communications between the PFC, the amygdala, and the hippocampus. The hippocampus is responsible for spatial awareness, like navigating your house, or your neighborhood. The brain structures that are involved in implicit memory, which are non-declarative memories, are the basal ganglia and the cerebellum. The basal ganglia are a group of structures deep within the cerebral hemispheres that are responsible for habit formation, while the cerebellum is responsible for skill development and some cognitive tasks.